on my way to pick up a chain, man. I mean, a ring, man. It's a awful, awful looking day. It's rained about two times already this morning early. It's around 10 something now. Rain is uh, expected. We'll have to go to the land at night because it's blowing about 15 or 20 out of the south southwest. But the bay will, too be, bay will be too rough, I think. It's uh, supposed to be in the 70s today. I got Bermudas on. I'm hunting in Bermudas today. <laughs> How cool is that? Anyway, we'll see how it goes. If it don't rain too hard, we'll be okay. Stand by. Here we are, land of nada, land of nada. It's rained on us twice coming down here. But it's nice right now, other than it's cloudy. Here we go. Look at that. Woo, baby. I don't like it. Started out as 1123. Now it's 11:38. Out of the ground, it's 11:38. I don't think I like it. I think it's a damn penny. Twelve thirty-eight. Boy, it sounds awful strong for a penny, though. That's what it is, though. Biggest damn life, a penny. Look at that. Look at that piece of crap. That's a hell of a way to start surf church up with a hole like that. Ah. be 10 cent here. I tell you one thing, this nine inch scoop works good in this damp sand, I tell you that. I like it. I didn't think I was gonna like it too much in the damp sand, but it's nice. I hope this dime not in China though. And I hope it's a dime. 11, 12, 12.43 is pretty sure it's a dime. No, come out of there, baby. There it is, a little old dime. Somewhere. I hear it. There it is, 10 meter cent. That's right. Then he's got two dimes already and a penny. Stand by. <laughs> That's a wide baby, ain't it? I don't know. I like it. I didn't think it's going to work too good down here, but I was mistaken. Which I am, occasionally. I sure hope this is not a nickel. Man, this is a nice sound right here. 12, 14. Oh my God. 12 inches deep. That ain't no problem for Bruce here. Bruce will get out of there. Come on, yellow. Come on, yellow. I don't want to see no nickel now. I don't want to see no pull tab either. Oh, I see it's already a nickel. I see it roll right out when I kicked it. Look at that Nicky nickel. Nickel, nickel. He's
Five bigger cent. Ah, oh, boy, I was excited for a minute. I don't know if you can see it or not, but all the coins we've been digging have been traveling down this one basic line here. You see this, where the holes were we've covered up is all in this one track. They ain't buried, you know, seven or eight feet both ways. That's the way it is sometimes here in the wintertime. Look at this. Ring man, ring man, no more J man, ring man. <laughs> 1215 Superman ring. He's hard to handle this guy. Nice taquita. And we've only been here 10 minutes. No telling what he's gonna do today. Stamp, I think it says 14k inside of it. Yeah. Like what it says, 14K? Looks I, like, looks like 14. I, I, I can't, my eyes ain't that good. I got the loop though, I can look at it. It might be a European bar too, I can't tell for sure. I think it's 14K though. Put the high power stuff on it now. It's on the top. Where the hell is it? Right on top. Oh. Yeah, 14 k 14K. 14K, I thought that's what it was. Aha! Gold in the land of Nada. I like it. Yesterday, especially in the dam sand. There's a penny right here. I don't know how deep it is. But it, if you stick nine inches in there compared to seven, that's a lot of loot. Okay. Especially when it's deep. And you go back in for the second time. Now with the Stava you get the 8 inches. That's not bad. 8 and 9 is not bad. Twelve thirty-eight. Damn the pennies. Woo! I hate them. Okay. A nice damp sand scoop. I'm amazed. He's bringing sand from Rudy Inlet. You know, down there where the inlet is. He's, he's dredging out the inlet. Bringing it up here and dumping it. Right offshore. He's loaded right down now, ain't he? You watch him in a few minutes, he'll pump himself right out. He'll be dry. He'll come right out, out of the water. Army Corps of Engineers. Our tax dollars at work. Well, we got us a 1215 now. Let's see what that is. That's jumping around a little bit. Jump to 10 that time. 15 solid out of the ground. Damn I! <laughs> I don't 
see no yellow. It's a full tab. I see a full tab. Nice full tab. We got a quarter, I think, a high 40 number, 46, 48, it's jumping around. Let's, let's not disregard, the new, you know, that uh, T-Rex scoop. When it first came out, it was nine and a half inches wide. And I got one to try it. Then the Guru used it for about two years. Then we sold it to a guy in Cal and traded it or sent it to a guy in California. The difference was, the T-Rex didn't have much bite, you know, not much bill length. It was short, kind of stubby. Whereas this baby reaches down there and grabs everything. That's the only difference was the hole's bigger, but I understand the T-Rex is supposed to be coming out with one of those big holes. I haven't checked his website, so it could be already out, and I just don't know about it. Damn CTX, it goes too damn deep, I'm telling you. Ah, stand by. You know, that's just not right. That's just not right at all. I see it, but I don't think it's a quarter. I think it's some kind of big piece of aluminum or something. For. I should have been dragging my recliner after that. Take a break. Give me a Budweiser or something. <laughs> yeah. I just gave the beast to Denny. Got a 1213 right here. There it is. Nickel in it. Yep. I've got, I got three a, nickels so far. I got one. I got another 12-14, but it was a pull tab. I got about three or four quarters. I got uh, one quarter. Five dimes, I think five, six dimes, pennies. That thing works really good in the damn set. I was amazed. Give her a try for a little while. Yeah, I'll give her a try. Last week, I hunted on Stewart's in the lane today. Halifax, North Carolina. B.I. We've been hunting the bay, you got a nice gold ring on the bay. I believe there's some bling bird in here. Cheap bling too. Stand by, let's knock it out of there, see if there's anything in there. Bling at its best. Well, we're headed back south now. We've been on a five block ball spot. Got a target five blocks. Going the other way. Turned around. We're gonna go check out Stuart. See how he's making out with his PI down here by the pier. I'm gonna show you a nice Rottweiler in a minute. I mean a really nice Rottweiler dog. It's coming up behind me. Well, we're getting ready to go inside for the uh, roundup. This right here is the handle that came with the uh, 920 IX right here. And this is a handle that Denny got with his first 720i. And after six or seven months, he broke off right there. And Chuck sent him a brand new uh, carbon fiber handle that he's used since then. 
So this has been sitting in his garage for many months. This one's this new one's a little bit long for me. And I had forgotten about this shaft right here. And I was telling Danny about it. He said, wait a minute, old buddy, old pal, old friend. I got just what you need. Well, I put it on my belt grinder and I ground it down to fit. Then I reground it down some more. That's what I've never liked about Chuck Scoops, the handles. This part's always been too big for my hand. That inch and a quarter stop is carbon fiber handle is perfect or most fiberglass handles that you get are perfect in diameter for me but now I've got one custom diameter for me right now that would you can see it's about that much shorter just about what broke off of it before and that's just about this just does go under my arm when I'm scooping if I got it on a target you know I want to move it goes right under my arm perfect now, if I was working in knee deep, I mean in uh, neck deep water all the time, it would be a little short. But most of the time, I'm just working in waist deep water. That's perfect for waist deep water. We have to see how it goes tomorrow if it don't get too bad. I'm supposed to get a 40 degree drop in temperature between now and tomorrow. Like I said, it's still 70 outside. I still got my meters on. Beautiful, beautiful day. Let me stick this baby back in the garage. And we go and do the. Well, we ain't gonna do the roundup. First, we're gonna break some of them watches open. We got a gang of damn watches to crack. So stand by for that. Okay. There are the watches. One of them was a big nail, a really thin nail. One of them was a nut, another one was a nut, that one white looking thing is no clue, it's hard, it's thick, the biggest piece, that big round piece, was some kind of something or other. And the other big round piece, I don't know what it is. It's, it's flexible like you know, cloth or something. Nothing of any consequence. Just watch it. The second life looking one was pure junk. Nothing in it at all. Roundup. It was a very strange day in the land of Nada today. Hardly any, <coughs> any trash, just clad. Chain man, ring man, he got more quarters than me and maybe one more dime and a couple more nickels. He got a lot of pennies, but only two pieces of other stuff. Just pure, almost pure plastic. And a gold taquito.